The College of Social Work and Community Development opens the doors of its new building not only to the UP community but also to the rest of the country and the world. It was in 1967 when the idea of constructing a bigger and better building first came about. This was triggered by the growth in the college's population and the swiftly expanding needs of both faculty and students. Now, Melchora Aquino Hall stands as a landmark of success. It stands as a proud tribute to the men and women who worked hard to achieve the common purpose of building a better home for the college. It also stands as a sign of the college's goal to better serve the marginalized sectors of society. Our new building is just a structure like any other. Giving it meaning and life are the members of the CSWCD community. Working hand in hand with the people it serves throughout its history. It seems only yesterday when the College of Social Work and Community Development or CSWCD was born. But in reality, it has been more than 50 years since CSWCD began as part of the Department of Sociology and Social Welfare under the College of Liberal Arts. Then, it was elevated into a Department of Social Work in the College of Arts and Sciences in 1961. It was in 1967 when the Institute of Social Work and Community Development was established through Republic Act 5174, authored by Senators Jovito Salonga, Eva Estrada Calau, and Maria Calau Katikbak. The law paved the way for the establishment of an additional department, the Department of Community Development. Originally, the department occupied two rooms in separate floors inside Palma Hall. Then, it took over the whole fourth floor of Palma Hall building. More space now because uh, we had our separate rooms. In those days, faculty members shared one room and they were facing each other. And uh, so if, they were, if a faculty member happens to advise a student, everybody hears what's going on. There were 17 in our batch. But I understand in the 50s, it could go as high as 30. In 1972, the Institute of Social Work and Community Development moved to a building near the UB Chapel. It is composed of five prefabricated units received through the help of then-presidential assistant Guillermo de Vega. It was still in that building when the ISWCD became a full-fledged college in 1987. Melchora Aquino Hall is a symbol of CSWCD's commitment towards achieving a social, political, and cultural change in Philippine society. That change is already taking place, as proved by the untiring efforts of CSWCD's faculty, staff, and students to help put up the new building. A committee of deans was formed to synchronize all forces at work in putting up the new structure. The students equally shared the drive and the enthusiasm to make the dream a reality. The synergy among the people at the college helped gather valuable assistance and support from donors and partners. The construction of Melchora Aquino Hall also signals the turning over of a new leaf in the history of CSWCD. Through the years, the college has concentrated on three broad areas of concern, namely teaching, research, and extension work. The areas of concern remain the same, but the momentum is expected to grow stronger. We have more rooms to do many things. In the past, we were constrained by lack of space. Although we manage, having more space is definitely an improvement. 
I see this as a sign of progress, as a sign of growth. And uh, I am glad that we are moving from where we are to where we will be. You know? and so physically, it is progress. The College of Social Work and Community Development has three departments, offering courses that seek to produce students who will serve as catalyst of societal change. The Department of Social Work seeks to prepare social work graduates for critical and active participation in social transformation. The Department of Community Development seeks to produce graduates who are willing to spend their time and skills in helping poor and marginalized communities uplift their living conditions and way of life. The youngest section is the Department of Women and Development Studies. Its aim is to provide a historical and comprehensive perspective to the research and study of gender and development. This is important, particularly since society is yet unaware of the many development and social problems linked with gender issues. More than academic instruction, the CSWCD believes that real change and development can only happen if the stakeholders are involved. Food for the hungry, home for the homeless, and jobs for the unemployed are empty battle cries. If the hungry, homeless, and unemployed are not part of the struggle for change. This is where the field instruction comes in. The university will link up with grassroots communities. The peasants, the fisher folks, workers, urban poor, women, youth, and children are the focus of the various field placements. The students learn about the people's situation and from there facilitate community processes to tap the people's and the community's potentials for development. For the people to have the capacity to analyze their situation, they must cultivate their inner strengths and capabilities. As a group, they can develop strategies to respond to their situation. These capture the processes that the people undergo. In almost four decades, CSWCD has worked with various development organizations non-government organizations, people's organizations, and local government units. Altogether, the students, program coordinator, faculty supervisors, partner organizations, and communities provide the dynamism in a vast arena for learning and service. So in the case of community development, because this was a new approach, the, the community became the classroom. Research also constitutes an important part of CSWCD's work. Researches undertaken by faculty and staff with the partners revolve around the areas of resource management, women organizing and education, community-based mental health program, sectoral organizing among peasants, fisher folks, and urban poor, or early childhood education and development among others. The Research and Extension for Development Office, or REDO, is the research and extension arm of the college. It conducts social researches and maintains the CSWCD data bank. Various books and publications have also been produced under the support of REDO. The CSWCD's extension work, on the other hand, encompass the various services and programs engaged in by faculty and staff. These activities include trainings, consultancy, program evaluation, and many more. 
extension helps enrich the academic program. It is a reflection of the praxis principle. This basically involves learning the theory, applying it in practice, and coming up with new theories from said application. Support services by the college staff should also be mentioned. Their help is invaluable, especially during enrollment, graduation, college week, and other important college and university events. The library also plays an important role in the college. In line with the college's teaching and research programs, the CSWCD Library continuously updates its collections. As the college enters its new home, people can expect these activities to continue, widen, and deepen in scope. Changes will be made, but the goal of total human development will not change. The history of CSWCD does not just tell the story of how the college was created, but how it has evolved and been interwoven with the history of modern Philippine society. CSWCD has a tradition of people-centered and praxis-oriented education. From the beginning, the people behind CSWCD believed that learning extends way beyond the four walls of the classroom. The development workers and students were far from confined to the classroom. CSWCD has had a long history of progressive involvement in social issues. From engaging in relief and rehabilitation work, they took to the streets to rally the UP citizenry to challenge the regime of former dictator Ferdinand Marcos. The first quarter storm transformed the thrust of the college from reactive to proactive in keeping with the needs of the times. CSWCD's progressive tradition continued through the years. It remained at the forefront of sectoral, university, and women's issues. In advocating at its own backyard, CSWCD constituents take principled stands on pressing university issues and concerns. At the national level, CSWCD again rose to the challenge of positive change when the political and social climates that gave rise to EDSA II occurred. Together with the rest of the country, it moved to oust yet another corrupt regime. Years after, the college remains vigilant as it continues its mission of service and critical involvement. Today, as it enters its new home, as it turns over a new leaf, CSWCD prepares to rise to greater challenges. Pinasisinayaan natin ang ating bagong tahanan, tahanang ating iniaalay sa bayan. Maganda, maluwang, at totoong napakalaki ng ating tahanan. Pero mananatili tayong nakatuntong sa lupa pa patuloy na nakikipag-aralan sa masa, tumutulong sa kanilang pag-oorganisa at nakikibahagi sa pagsusulong ng pagkilos na nagpapaganda ng bukas nila. Ipagpapatuloy natin ang ating kasaysayan ng pakikipaglayag sa sambayanan. Mananatili tayong kakabisibisig 
pagdating ng kapatayang sektor ng lipunan sa pagsusulong ng isang uri ng kaunlaran ang biyaya nito ay pinagsasalukan ng lahat.